Hi there, my name is Tanya. Welcome to my channel, Tanya's Writing Room. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit new. I've never tried screen capturing before, so this is all going to be a, uh, well, a learning experience. So, Nano, day four. I am under my word target, but I have written some words. I think I'm around, you know, 4,000-ish. And I think I should be much higher than that by now. I am writing in Scrivener this year. Normally I use Word, but because I'm doing a choose your own adventure, I decided to purchase and try out Scrivener for the first time. I've never used it for any other project, so yes, it's a learning experience. So I'm going to show you. All right, let's check it out. This is my Scrivener project. This is my draft, my binder, and all the little components in it. Now, as you can see, I've gotten used to using multicolored icons to identify, for me, which character's perspective this is in. I'm going to take you down to the character selection screen. My character selection screen gives you the option to select between a female or a male perspective. Now, the female perspective, you get one pre-made character named Danny, and you could also be the heroine. Now the male, same thing, there's a character named Kyle, and then there's also an option to be the main character yourself. So based on which character you select, you can go to chap or section 1A or 1B, 1C or 1D. Now each character is color coded. So Danny is blue, the female You're the Heroine is in section red book, <laughs> section red book. And then character one for the male is Kyle, and he's in a green flag. And if you're the hero and you're in the male perspective, it is an orange flag. Right. So, at the end of each section is two options, and based on your selection, you click on an internal link within Scrivener to take you to, ding, the next chapter. Now, of course, this automatically splits my screen, but I can unsplit this. Let's just... Uh, go back to full screen. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Um, again, still learning. <laughs> so of course, now one thing I'm going to have to work on is these internal links will disappear once I convert it or compile it into an EPUB version within Scrivener. So now I'm going to need to, um, yeah, I got to figure something out with that. I'm learning how to use the cork board view doing little notes on what happens to the character in each chapter or each section because again I'm not really doing chapters um, and then once I am done writing all of it I am then going to move things around for example I'm going to move all of the ones together that way you can't see your next section before you've even made your decision so if you end up having you know one A and 2A, which is all in Danny's perspective, on the same screen when you're reading, you're going to kind of know whether or not you want to make that choice. So, I'm a switching around after I'm done. Just for keeping it simple for writing purposes, I am going to keep each color code separate so that I can write one person's story at a time. So it's basically the gist of what I wanted to show you, is just kind of how I'm laying things out for a choose your own adventure. Um, I am going to have to go back in and edit the code on the after the compile is complete so that I can actually make sure that all of my links work. And uh, yeah, uh, let's just take a peek and see what my word count is. So my project, where did it go? Oh, it's on my other screen, just one second. Whew. All right, there it is. As you can see, I've set a target of my 50,000 words. Um, my word count so far is 4,136, and I believe as of yesterday I was supposed to be over 5,000. So I'm still a thousand words behind from yesterday, and I still have 1,667 approximately words to write today. Oh, there's my phone, sorry about that. Anywho, um, also the session target I have not used yet, but I think I really need to so that I know when I've reached my goal. Otherwise, yes, this is my... Uh, this is my very first Scrivener project, so if you, based on what you've seen today, if you've used Scrivener and you have any tips for me, 
please let me know and put some comments below because again I don't know if I'm doing this properly I'm just been kind of winging it which is kind of what I do with technology is I just kind of wing it and figure it out as I go I watch how to's and so on or just fight along with it on my own yes so thank you for joining me and uh, have a wonderful nano experience <laughs> that sounds really corny happy nanoing